So did y'all come to America on slave ships? In fact, we did. What? On, on cargo no, slave, no, on cargo no, slave, pack, pack is cargo. Well, my family did. Why yes. no way. Pack so, is cargo? So, like with we, shackles and we, chains? We, well, no, of course not. <laughs> of course not. But they did not, have, but, hey, don't give me okay, a here, but I'm going to say something. No, go ahead, go ahead. I've never, I have, and thank you, you have a Bible, that's great. Yep. I have never owned a slave. Well, I got you. Sometimes I feel as though I'm the slave. Mm. So oh I God. don't at all, like, I don't. Did you had a cold post? We on fire. Yeah, yeah, we back to see this thing on fire. Either you gon' ride it, you gon' ride it, you gon' ride it. Feel that fire. Yeah, feel that fire. Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ Bliss. This is Cuts from the Streets. We in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. About to bring the word of God to our people. And we got some questions for our people. Is Memorial Day really for blacks and Hispanics? Did we gain our freedom here in America? Or uh, is, is, is the wars and, the, and, and our fathers and our mothers enlisted in the military? Is it for the benefit or the demise of our people? So we got questions. We trying we try to see where our people, our people minds at and see and, and get them to come back to God. What you got, officer? Yeah, man, most definitely, man. Y'all already know, man. Our people look for any reason to party. You know what I'm saying? So we trying to get into the, uh, you know, get to our people, you know what I'm saying, and try to get them to tap into reality, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and focus on what we supposed to be doing on how to how to rebuild the decay, the state of our people and focus less on partying, man. That's what it's really about, you understand? So, Lord, will we reach some of our people Lord's will some of our people repent today but the word gonna go out either way shalom hey so this is cuts from the streets we about to go chop it up shalom all right so we down here in, in, in myrtle beach south carolina i got with me right now carla thomas what's your name bro jordan jordan yeah. what's your name That's blood e trap all right what's your name bro malik what's your name y'all nico gilbert so what's your name kim mia Shawnee. What's your name, my brother? My name's Polo. Polo, all right. Sister right here, what's your name? Erica. So what's y'all down here for, man? Shit, trying to see what the hus. <laughs> all right, what, what, what about you, man? Chilling with the guys. Chilling with the guys, man. So let me ask you a question, right? Let me ask you this. So, it's Memorial Day for their, you know, the people who yeah, died yeah, in yeah, their yeah, wars yeah, and yeah, so yeah, on yeah, and so yeah, forth, yeah. right? So, with with the wars that they win and things like that, what do they do with their power when it comes to us, me and you? They kill us. They kill what they do? They, they kill us. They kill us. Right. See? That, yeah. That's what they do with their power. So yeah. what they really fighting for. Yeah. So we just asking on the vein of um, Memorial Day and what it means to you and um how do you celebrate Memorial Day? So I this year I'm celebrating by being here and to me Memorial Day is remembering the people who allowed us to be here today. All right, so let's talk about it. Uh, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend, and we out here on uh, Myrtle Beach. So what do you think of when uh, Memorial Day comes to mind for you? I think about honoring, you know, the fallen soldiers who died for our freedoms here in America. So what, what is Memorial Day about? It's for the fallen, the fallen soldiers. soldiers. The fallen soldiers. The fallen soldiers. Uh, who on? Right there. there you go, right there. See, I like, I like that. <laughs> so, and we celebrate that every year, right? Barbecue, all of that. So, the white man's army, when they win wars, they get more power, right? right, right. When it comes to us, what they do with their power? They abuse it. And they get their power through war. So, when we celebrate Memorial Day for the people that, for their people who went to war, what are we really celebrating? Memorial Day. No, we celebrate. Then they kill us. Uh, they yeah, kill yes. us, and we're not supposed to celebrate. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right. We celebrating them killing us. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. not supposed to celebrate that. So they say Memorial Day. It's, it's supposed to be celebrating the troops that's over there fighting overseas in the wars and things like that, and um, all, all, all the. The, the man that fought to establish America. But when it comes to our history, wasn't our fought forefathers and um, and our ancestors up in wars too? Then we fighting the wars? So do the, 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 the same freedoms that we fought for worldwide and globally, do blacks and Hispanics receive them same freedoms here in America? No. 
Do you do you, do you see it's all is equal in, in America? Yes, and I you know so I'm going to say something. This probably go ahead, go ahead, no, no, go ahead, no, talk, talk. It, it probably is not going to be say popular, uh -huh. but I'm going to say it. Uh -huh. So, the black and Hispanic communities uh -huh. are not the only ones that have been had injustices and served. So what about this? Uh, the perspective of the black soldiers that fought and that fought in the wars here in America and fought for the quote unquote freedoms here in America. I think now here in um, 2024, I think they're getting a lot more respect than they were before and recognition. But I think we got to continue to lift up those black soldiers who also died and lost their lives and sacrificed for us. Okay. Watch this. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 4. Watch this. Read. The book of Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. 4. Verse 4. Thus said, thus said the Lord my God. Feed the flock of the slaughter. So this is what we commanded to do, to go out here and feed the flock of the slaughter. When you slaughter something, what that mean? Kill it. Kill it. Who out here getting killed? We are. We are, right? Watch this, read. Who's possessor. So if you possess something, that mean you what? You own it. And don't somebody own us? Right? Watch this, read. Whose possessors slay them. Whose possessors or owners, slave owners, Slave masters do what? Slay them. Kill us, Reed. And hold themselves not guilty. What happened when Mike Brown got killed? Oh my God. Not, not guilty. guilty. Trayvon Martin? Not guilty. You see that? All over the place. You know what I'm saying? What should, what should we be doing then? If we know the Bible is talking about it, right? Yeah, but it's a lot of people not reading the Bible. They, everybody celebrate because they just hear it's a celebration, but they really don't know what is the celebration. You know what I mean? Right, I got you. They don't know what it means. They don't know what it means. So all these wars, you know, that we fought in, was was that for the embitterment of the black race? That we, it just made in like like uh, I know in the 60s, in the 70s, you had you had world wars going on. You had Vietnam. And you know, uh, our fathers and our mothers, they was they was a heavy protest against black men going over and fighting in these wars. Right. Because they said they thought that these conflicts had nothing to do with us as opposed to our plight here in America. What do you think about that? Okay, I'm I'm 38. My grandpa when I was growing up was uh, -huh. uh born 190 1908. Okay. So he, his parents were slaves. He like two mm. generations away. So when he grew up, he was a, a sharecropper. sharecropper, exactly. Now, I come from a military family and mm -hmm. he fought one of the original roars. But back in the day, coming from slavery, mm -hmm. a lot of black people didn't believe that because how America was that they should participate. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people rallied around because they mm -hmm. felt like if they participated, that would buy their way into being free and equality so they put they risk their lives to try to show that they were worthy of that freedom you okay. know what i'm saying no. even though they were being oppressed during that time you right. know what i'm no, saying no that's a good that's a good point so when they got back and they and because that was the thought okay maybe right. i go fight in this war maybe y'all right. y'all have some more respect for me right. so what was the reality for them when they got back to america and, and got back to their neighborhood i i think I, 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 that's the true point it was very bad when they got back a lot of them was still disrespected uh you know segregated abused discriminated against and just just like regular niggas you know what i'm saying that's just keeping it stack but when you when you think about movement, right? Even mm -hmm. if you take it back to slavery, mm -hmm. when you think about the mindset of slaves, they always foresaw that a change was gonna come. You mm -hmm. feel me? And they continue to put in good work. And I think that's always gonna be the mindset of us as black people. Mm -hmm. Even though we're not getting treated right today, we're gonna continue to put in good work because when you know our time is gonna come. Okay. And it was, like I said, it's an injustice that until recently, was the same situations as the blacks and Hispanics. Did you same? Don't see anybody talk? Yes, Sorry, I believe that, yes. So did y'all come to America on slave ships? In fact, we did. And on, on cargo right, slave, no, on cargo slave, pack, pack is cargo? Well, my family did, yes. Pack is so, cargo? So Like with we, shackles and we, chains? Well, no, of course not. <laughs> of course not. But they did not, have, but... Hey, okay, here, but I'm going to say listen. something. No, go ahead, go ahead. I've never, I have, and thank you, you have a Bible, that's great. Yep. I have never owned a slave. Well, I got you. Sometimes I feel as though I'm the slave. Mm. So I don't at all, like, I don't look at you guys and say you're an underserved segment because there's lots of those. Okay. 
Okay, so we just. But you believe in Jesus. You yeah, yeah, in yeah, yeah. We believe Jesus in the Bible. Matters. Yep, all that. And um, all we do is we just bring the truth of what's happening, you know, to the um, to, to the society, and we come from a, a biblical perspective. So we gonna read about. My daughter is a pastor. Oh, that's that's good. So watch this Daniel nine eleven. Watch this. The book of Daniel chapter nine and verse eleven. Uh huh. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. So God said all Israel have transgressed thy law. What you gonna find today is the blacks and the Hispanics are the true children of Israel. The ones over there that's in Israel today claiming to be Jews, they are not God's people. We. The blacks and Hispanics make up the Israelites, biblically and historically. You know, like uh, I don't know if you've seen uh, 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 Putin, President Putin, over there in Russia. He he, he revealed the black Jesus, um, uh, in his in a press conference. He showed the world because over in the catacombs of Russia and the vaults they got, they got a lot of the the, the original imagery of the um, the disciples or the prophets of Jesus or the angels they're over there, they and they were was all people of color. Yeah, they were people of color, but not just people of color because that's vague. They were blacks and Hispanics. But watch this though. Yea, all Israel had transgressed thy law. So God said Israel broke that law, read. Even by departing, uh -huh. that they might not obey thy voice. Uh -huh, read. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us in the oath that is written in the law of Moses. So the oath was that the Israelites would keep the commandments. But if God said if we didn't keep the commandments, there would be curses of people. So he said he would bring curses upon us. One of those curses was cargo slave ships. Like no other race can identify with the atrocities that we went through. I ain't saying other people didn't go through atrocities, but the people that went through the most atrocities and the most hell on the earth is the blacks and Hispanics. We gonna, hold on, I got you, I got you. The servant of God, What's that? because we have sinned against him. Because we sin against God. Because God views all people differently. Definitely his children. He has a different judgment for his children because those are of, of his household. But hold on, watch this, read on. And he had confirmed his words. So, so this is how God confirmed the Bible. It showed it's a, it's a real book. Because this was written thousands of years before slavery. So read on. Which he spake against us uh -huh. and against our judges. So against us and our judges, read. That judged us uh -huh. by, by bringing upon us a great evil. So a great evil was brought upon the blacks and Hispanics. Slavery, Jim Crow, black codes, uh, the, the treatment that we, we received in the military, our, our veterans, our quote unquote veterans. The, the treatment that we get was a great evil. That's what God describes it as. Read on. For under the whole heaven. So under the whole heaven, when you examine all people on the planet Earth, read. Have not been done. God said have not been done, read. As had been done upon Jerusalem. So God said ain't no more evil happening on the planet Earth than to the, to the blacks and Hispanics. And will, will you agree or disagree? What would you say about this? Has all the wrongs and injustices, injustices committed against the blacks and Hispanics been corrected? I think society is trying. Trying, but, but have they been corrected? I don't know that it's for our generation to correct. Mm, okay, okay, okay. You got any last words for the people? Yeah, I, I support what you guys are doing and I love that you're out here with the Bible. So enjoy your holiday and praise to our brave men and women who allow us to do this because in some countries you'd be beheaded for trying. Okay, all right, thank you. Appreciate your song. Thank you. All right, so Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ Bless. This was just cuts from the streets. We ran up on Myrtle Beach in, in, in Black Bikers Week and we shut it down with the word of God. You know, we went out there and got interviews with the people to see where they heads at. And at the end of the day, Memorial Day is not for our people. We too busy celebrating America's troops and what they did. Meanwhile, the whole time they mistreated our brothers and sisters. So we got to come back to the Bible and do what the Lord say, because the Lord give us days of the deliverance to celebrate. America only give us days of our oppression and days of mockery to mock our fathers and spit in their face. So, man, it is what it is. Israel, we on the rise. And with that, we say shalom. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, man, we talked to our people. For the most part, you know, our people was receptive. Of course, you know, a lot of our people, they don't want to hear the truth. You know, man, they out here to party. But our people need to understand that we got to come away from these, these holidays that, that uplifts the people who oppressed us. You know what I'm saying? And it was always to our detriment. Any time these people gain any type of power, any type of independence, any type of freedom whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? The Lord gave us feast days, you understand, in memory of our people that put their life on the line, you understand, for, for our freedom, you understand, for our uh, liberation, you understand, for our deliverance, you understand? So, hey, with that, Israel, Shalom, Most High, Christ bless, we out.
Let's <laughs> go.